As the home of theatre in the West End, it's only natural that the British capital holds a special place in the heart of this talented performer. Friends used to listening to Carolyn's radio show or watching her in everything from Melrose Place to Generations are happy to see her in good health. It's been a challenging time for me the past few weeks uh, with the discovery of cancer cells, but today I've been given a clean bill of health and um, with this new voice, we are going to have a wonderful day in London, shopping and, you know, just celebrating life, really. Starting with our champion of all mood lifters, Retail Therapy. The address of Master Tailor Terence Trout was our first stop. This is Sean Cohen. Hi. Marvellous designer and personal shopper to the rich and famous. Well, what can I say? She said it all for me. <laughs> Simple, chic and elegant was the request. So, Carolyn. I have made you the most magnificent suit. I cannot wait to see it on you. Okay, you ready for this? Yes. Brilliant. So here we are. Oh, beautiful. Oh, sure. Is it what you expected from when we, we discussed this in the design? Oh, absolutely. I think it's just magnificent. Sean's client list includes Sharon Osborne. He's moved artist Tracy Emin from the worst to the best dressed fashion pages and creates tailored couture for David Beckham. When it comes to Carolyn's style, she's a very smart, sophisticated lady. But getting to know Carolyn, she's very, very fun. Um, so we want to play on that funness with her garments. Wow, you look amazing. But just to top the outfit off, I've gone and bought you some accessories. So I've bought you the red patent Louis Vuitton belt. It will just accent and it'll be, it'll contrast and bring up your entire outfit and just keep it fresh as well. To go with it, I have the new Louis Vuitton red monogram bag with the gold detail and the keychain. Also, a red silk scarf from Hermes, which do beautiful, beautiful prints. And this will just again add to the outfit and bring it as a story from going from top to bottom with what you're wearing. And finally, I have red Louis Vuitton sunglasses for when it is sunny. And when it's not sunny, you can still wear them in your hair and it still finishes your outfit and completes the look. Carolyn had a little soiree up her sleeve and invites to a dinner with friends at the famed Claridge's Hotel were finding their way to key addresses across London. I'm appreciating all the good moments in my life. You know, I love spending time with close friends and tonight will be especially important for me because it's the first time that I've gathered together with a group of friends since the scare. So, um... I'm looking forward to that. Not before Sean had done what he does best and through his connections ensured that Carolyn had no cues to wait in at these great fashion houses to emerge with a classic in no time. So for tonight, Carolyn's special occasion, we've been into Chanel and we've chosen the little black dress. A little black number. Which it is, it's a number. <laughs> um, which is quite a classic, very, very simple dress. It's strapless sleeves, it's a knitwear on the top and it drops down into corsetage pockets on the side with the button detail. Just simple, but very, very chic. Finished off with... The pièce de résistance. Exactly. As accessories go, never mind the clutch. What a girl really wants is a close encounter of the scented kind with Clive Christian number one. I may not be the richest woman in the world, but I'm going to smell like the richest woman in the world. And Ebru, you have to try this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> After a full day's preparation, top coordinator Mark Nimerko ushered us into what was the Queen Mum's favourite venue at the Claridge's, the French Salon. We really wanted to go for something quite clean um, and quite contemporary. So obviously we've got lots of orchids um, and we've gone with white roses. White roses um, have uh, meaning to uh, Carolyn's uh, mother. So we incorporated those. We wanted to keep it quite clean because this room is obviously of the Renaissance period, so it's got quite a lot going on in it. So we just wanted to make it a bit fresher. With a treat of beluga caviar and French champagne, Carolyn was toasting friendship with a tight circle, including former husband Do Stain and lawyer Charlotte Adler. Carolyn Stain is, for me, somebody who is fun, she embraces life, she's beautiful. She is one of these kind of people that, when you meet her, you just can't help but like her. She just embraces everybody she meets. I was a bit worried when she had her throat up, 
I just thought it might, she might never get her voice back. But the voice she's got back now is even more gorgeous and sexy. I'd love to see her enjoy the rest of her life as much as she deserves to. Because she's been there for me in the past. I'm glad that I could do something for her. But you don't understand is I catch a grenade for you. The popular outfit, The Trend, from the UK's X Factor series, provided the soundtrack for the evening. I was a part of the 12 Tenors, which toured around the world, and we also went to South Africa um, in the summer last year. And I met Karen through uh, the, t the 12 Tenors, and we were lucky enough to go to her house on our last night, and she did a big party, after show party. And ever since then, I've kept in contact with her. And I just feel very, well, we all feel very privileged to be at this very intimate um, event tonight. The applause came with fingers crossed that Carolyn's beaten cancer and can now return to TV and radio work with that foxy new voice. And I need you today. One needs to celebrate life because that's the most important thing. And I'm so glad that Carolyn came to London had the medical problem and we managed to sort that out and that's great well the evening has surpassed my expectations i've had a sublime time and i want to thank you for joining me